So the question is, is Felipe Anderson worth it? He is an end of an era, 93 rated. He's obviously come alongside our boy Thiago Silva, who I'm very interested to try out as well. He's coming in at the moment at 125,000 coins and most definitely brings the source. So he's a 9-3, five star, four star, whipped pass, power shot and rapid plus. So a very triple threat in them play styles. He can also play striker, right wing, left wing, wherever you want to go up top, he can do it. Now we've got an abundance of pace, very good shooting, it's mainly the penalties that are dropping that down, fine. Passing wise, good, dribbling fantastic, some decent head and accuracy and some average defence to be honest. For a right wing, 80 defence is definitely not the worst it can be. Good stamina, good jumping and strength and aggression is a semi there. We also have finesse, flair, first touch and Travella as the other playstyle, so he's only got 7 in total, but I must admit... The Playstyle Plus is looking fantastic. Now, in terms of the card itself, we should be looking at a powerhouse, a basic, or an engine according to Footbin straight away. So let's have a look. So a powerhouse would give you, so he's mostly explosive or controlled. We're mainly going to be looking at mostly. A powerhouse would give you... I don't need that. So that's just ridiculous. A basic would give you uh, kind of a bit of everything. So if I reset again... We are looking for, so pace-wise, I'm quite happy with. I could do with a bit more shooting. Agility balance looking good. Physicality. So to be fair, you could, could you or is it a waste? You could waste it and go full-on Hunter. You could even then potentially go Hawk. That might not be a bad option as well. If you wanted to spread out a little bit and get a bit more physicality. Uh, the finish is probably going to be a waste more than anything. It gets good shooting, but you could go Deadeye, I suppose. Deadeye is another great one if you want more passing. That's going to be a fantastic one as well. So there is a fair decent amount of options that you can go with there. I would probably... I'd probably look at the Deadeye, to be honest, to start with. I think the Deadeye definitely isn't the worst option you can go with. So that's what we'll do to start with. We'll get him in and let's have a look. Right, I want to see that pace on him if we can. There's going to be the ball. Good touch. Look for the fake. Find the near post. It's as easy as that really, isn't it? Great finish from him. Obviously, the, the shooting boost is going to be fantastic for him, which is exactly what we wanted. And I do think that pace is going to be brilliant regardless. I, I don't think you need any more on it. Obviously, you can always have more. It's never going to be a problem. But this kind of part here is going to be the multiple threat from him. Being able to just absolutely nail it from near post. <laughs> Every time you gotta love it. People think that you can't shoot from there, so they don't block. I'm like, it's with the shooting we have now on players when they're like 90 and above, well, especially like 93 and above, they, they just have an ungodly amount of shooting. So you've got multiple options to kind of go for here. We've got Vinny coming in as well, especially having multiple wingers that are kind of striker based now. You can almost have that ability to be able to shoot from anywhere and it go in. Now, that's going to be something that you just will absolutely love and just take advantage of. But in terms of what I was on about, good block, is the fact that he has got that ability to be able to just shoot. Or, obviously, if he's running down kind of like near to the striker, you could kind of go down wing. And you do have that ability of a lovely, lovely whipped pass as well. It's going to be a lovely double threat for a striker winger on the game anyway. Because you have that then ability. Instead of going for the shot yourself. Is by just crossing it in yourself instead. That would have been a great ball. So that is already another good thing with a striker like this. Or a winger like this. That has that triple threat. In having actual good playstyle pluses. So that's a big bonus for the card. And the fact that he's only 100k. Is not bad if you are looking... At somebody like a Soloff anyway. Just seeing if we could kind of dupe him into that then. Big touch. Looking for the assist play. He's got the rapid plus on absolute lock. Very, very quick, which is nice. Look for that little cheeky ball. Not going to get over him, unfortunately. He's going to get the block in there, though. But no second play, unfortunately. There it is, though. Get that first. Look for the fake. Good dribbling, and it's a great block from Gabriel. That's where the agility balance really comes into play. Very, very nice footwork from him. Nearly gets it. Can find it here. Looks for the first finish. <clears throat> now, the one thing I would say, especially with all of these... Oh, referee. With all of these end of eras coming out, 
I would suggest that you're not going to miss out on any... Oh, that was poor. You're not going to miss out on anything if you don't finish one of them. Because, obviously, there's going to be quite a few. We've already got Cruz on the uh, kind of on the table already as an SBC coming. So, this is meant to be... And we saw it from the actual uh, window today where it popped up. That this week, there's going to be a load of End of Eras popping up. And also, then, for footers, I can imagine we'll be having the same as well. Because we have got, like, the likes of Marco Royce... Because he's got a team of the season already, I would have probably suggested that they're going to wait until kind of like a proper send-off where they can hopefully upgrade the card more so we look like we get a 98-99 Royce. It'd just be a fitting send-off for him rather than having anything like that. But going into the overall form then, in terms of a card, I think he's decent. He's decent enough for the wing. He's not necessarily going to be a, a massive game changer, depending on what team you've already got. If you've already got a winger like, for instance, Diani, there's nothing different really, to be honest. There's not like a crazy element where I'm like, okay, he absolutely takes her out of the game completely. But he most definitely, especially as a Serie A, is decent enough. He's got himself the 5-4. It's a shame that he didn't have the 5-5 for the end of era. I feel like they should really upgrade. And I know we're going to be looking at Thiago Silva as well. But what did we get an upgrade of him, to be honest? Because that's going to be the biggest compromise. With our anticipate power header, jockey, 3-3, 99 see That's a great card as well. That's going to be a brilliant centre-back regardless. So 95 on him. I do think when it comes to a proper end of an era, I know... Felipe Anderson, in terms of the game, has been has been in it for quite some time, and he is, in his own right, a very like top end player at, at a good level. Like he's been in the game for many many years. We loved the shapeshifter there. Obviously, his Porto stint, his West Ham stint. He's had a decent amount across a lot of FIFA, starting in FIFA 13, then all the way up. He's had a good amount of career, to be honest. You, you can't argue. Anybody that gets a triple in form in a year is definitely not bad whatsoever. But it's a nice card nonetheless. It's it's one of his highest rated cards. He's got the play stop plus. I think that's the difference. Rather than having the 5-5 five, five, and then outrageous stats across the board, he has got a very nice play style pluses, which is a big bonus. So that's what I want to see with a lot of these end of eras. But then the problem they have is if you can complete all of these in SBCs, then everybody's waiting for the Euros. Everybody's waiting then for footies because there's just no point trying to pack a 97 Mbappe that's impossible. Overall-wise, I think... Playstyle Plus, uh, Playstyle Plus Chemistry, I'd possibly go with the Deadeye, to be honest. I think that's going to give you the max amount of shooting, which is perfect for a striker. It's going to give you some passing, which is great for, for kind of whipping that ball in. Being able to have the pace already with a Rapid Plus is absolutely fine. Dribbling-wise, I don't need too much more, to be honest. Extra is good, but I don't need it. And then physicality is as good as it's going to get, really, anyway. So, a decent card for the price you're looking at. We'll have a look at Thiago Silva next, so make sure you subscribe for that. And also, like the video and let me know if you're going to complete him. <laughs>